Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I do a lot of vlogs and mainly student vlogs but also lifestyle vlogs but I also do more focused videos like this one. You guys who've been following me for a while you know that I love fall and I specifically love the fall semester which is starting in just one week uh, so I am very excited to uh, prep everything and get ready for that and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Uh, so as we do it, did last time and the last year, uh, I want to start by prepping everything digitally, so getting my MacBook ready, my iMac and my phone, uh, set up folders, my schedule and all that because I take notes on Notion so I have to set up all that and then I want to do everything physically, uh, so prepare my uni backpack. Uh, get everything, buy everything that I need, um, yeah, just prep everything. Uh, but last but not least, as a third part, I want to uh, set up my habits, my routines and everything that I have in mind for the next semester. And I also want to think about goals, uh, academic goals, for example, and personal ones as well. So without further ado, let's get started. But first, camel. Here we are. So first up, my Notion. Uh, so this is my Notion hub, but which you can see on the left, I have uh, folders or subchapters or whatever you want to call them. And there's of course one for university. So in here, I will later put one for the upcoming semester, which we are configurating now. There is my university subfolder, and you can see this was my last semester, and I will just duplicate this. And I will just uh, change that to the winter semester. And of course, we can make this very pretty with different uh, pictures and all that. So I can clear all my to-dos and I will have different courses. So yeah, the setup worked pretty well for me last time. So I'm just going to repeat what I did last semester. All right, and now we can insert that into this one here and I can just link it. There we go. And now I can just click on here and it teleports me to the right page. So before I continue with this, we're going to have a look at my schedule um, because then I can uh, implement here in my courses uh, what I need. I will be starting next week, but one of the courses will only start in the second week. So I'm looking at my uh, normal schedule. Uh, the thing with this is, as you can see, I don't have a lot of courses because it's my last semester that I'm actually going to courses. Um, the final semester will only be writing my bachelor thesis. So I'm almost done, which is nice, um, but still, I think I'm going to miss it. <laughs> so I'm a little sad as well. Here we go. I just put that side by side and now we can, uh, yeah, adjust these. Okay, so this is my blank setup and I can just uh, reproduce this. And yeah, just like that, I will uh, continue with the other classes. All right, so I'm done with filling in the all the information that I needed. And so I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what I just did. Uh, yeah, so as I said, this is my main winter semester overview. Uh, I filled in some inspirational pictures. Uh, these are all my courses, as I already said. And here I will just, uh, in time, fill in all the general non-course related or not directly course related to do's um, and down here we have one section for all my homework that I'm going to fill in here so I have a big overview um, so I always uh, see what I have to do and on the left side we have Studienleistung and Prüfungsleistungen uh, which is just exams, uh, presentations, essays and all that. So these I'm gonna fill in here. And I can also show you examples of my courses, 
all the information, uh, everything like exams and all that up here, and then the sessions, uh, including dates, and as I already said, topic, main topic of the session, and I can tick off if I have attended the class at that date and if I had prepared uh, my homework. Um, yes, and here some more. Um, I also have one class that is a blog seminar, which is this one. It will be three blogs on three different Sundays. And, and I also, also wanted to show you... Uh, so, so this is my Scandinavian studies, studies overview. overview. Uh, uh, I am now, now starting semester five, five um, and these are the courses or rather the modules, modules that I'm taking uh, and that I need to complete. complete. And, and then, then as I already said, said, next semester it's only the bachelor thesis left, left and, and that's it. it. And, and then I'm done. done. Now let's set up uh, my folders for all the documents and everything that I will receive uh, for every course. Um, so here's my university folder. And as you might have seen in one of my last uh, getting ready for uni videos, it's still the same structure and I'm still color coding which modules I've already completed and which I'm currently working on. Um, so this one will be yellow, only completing two modules this semester, um, but it's this one and this one. That one. Uh, yeah, so my folder structure is already set up and then in here I will just put any information that I get, for example in this uh, course schedule. So this will be my uh, usual Monday to Friday schedule. I, as you already saw, I have a free day on Monday and Friday, um, but I'm just going to use that for a lot of uh, preparation, homework. And then on Fridays, I'm planning to have, yeah, my usual bachelor's uh, thesis work. I'll put that in here. Um, I will work on my BA. Because I'm not pressed for time, as you saw, I have a whole semester uh, in summer to do the BA. But if I finish earlier, it's even better. So uh, I can use that time for that and yes on Mondays I will just do all the homework for the week uh, because I have a lot of time and that's good and as you can see I already put in my workout schedule as well and my morning routine and evening routines okay you can't really see the evening routine it's, it's there down here <laughs> so let's talk about routines um, for me I find it very helpful to have a very similar morning and evening routine every single day and my usual morning routine looks like this. I wake up um, at sunrise or just whenever I have to. I think, yeah, next semester I will usually wake up at 8 in the morning and I will just put on some music or an audiobook and yeah, make my bed, do my skincare and then get dressed to go work out or just to go to uni directly. And I'm actually thinking about if I should start and try do a little bit of yoga in the morning as well. Not for any fitness reasons, just for my mind. But I'm not sure if I'm overdoing it and if that's just too much. But I will try it out, I think. Uh, yes, and I also like to take time for breakfast. And I also put in when I am going to have lunch. For example, here I want to go to the cafeteria because it makes sense to stay at uni between these two classes. And my evening routines are usually uh, like this, that I do plan the next day. So I want to put down my to-dos and uh, then like get undressed, do my skincare, put on my pajamas, uh, pajama. And then I am really trying to read in the evenings. Uh, it's kind of hard habit to maintain. I don't know why it's so hard for me. I like reading. I like books a lot. That's why I'm studying literature. So you can see in that way I will always have like eight to nine hours of sleep uh, every night and that I find that that works well for me. All right and then the last digital thing that I would like to show you is my phone settings. Uh, I really like to work with uh, the do not disturb modes on my iPhone and 
uh, that transfers to my iMac and my MacBook. So I will show you screen recording of the settings that I have, which are um, my sleep timer, of course, uh, that includes my alarm and everything. So I have this focus mode that um, says morning peace. I want to start using that. I haven't started it yet. I just put it in, um, but I want to start using that for the first like hour in the morning so I don't go on any social media or anything. I don't do that every morning. It's not a big problem problem for me but I would prefer if I just never did it. I also have a read focus um, which will leave me alone with any notifications while I'm reading uh, so that's very handy as well and yeah for all the focuses I just put in uh, which kind of apps should be allowed to send me notifications and which shouldn't um, but in general I have turned off notifications for most of the apps in, on my phone so I don't get a lot of notifications anyways and then i also have a work and a study focus which are very similar um but work pretty well for both purposes so i would hi highly recommend to use uh, these focuses if you use apple of course all right i think that was that for the digital setup so uh, let's take a quick lunch break because i'm very hungry and then i will be back with uh, the physical preparations. Let's get to my backpack. This one, you might already know, is my favorite uni backpack uh, because it has so many little compartments that I can use for different stuff. So everything's very organized in here. <laughs> and I'll just fill this with everything that I need uh, right now. And so let's get started. <laughs> So here are a couple of compartments. Uh, let's start with my MacBook. Uh, while I just had lunch, I charged all my um, devices. So don't forget to charge your devices before your first uh, uni day. Here's my laptop. Um, I do have a sleeve for this one, but because here's a very like bolstered compartment, I just put it in like this. I already have a charger for my phone in here. But uh, here's the one for my MacBook. Then I always bring a book uh, for like downtime when I have time so I can read. Um, and I have started reading this one. Uh, it's also research for my bachelor thesis, so it's two in one. <laughs> and it's also interesting and entertaining. Um, yeah, so this one goes in here. I, of course, am bringing a water bottle. This one has a tracking system, so I stay on track uh, with drinking enough. Um, yeah, I'll just put this in here. I do take my bike to go to uh, classes, not always. I also take the bus or the tram, um, depending on the weather and on my mood. Um, but I sometimes take the bike and then it's very handy to have a pair of sunglasses. So I'll put these in here. This one, of course, later will have my key on it, uh, but because I'm not leaving the house right now, I'm not putting it on here, so otherwise I won't find it later. <laughs> then I have this Muji folder. Uh, I use this to just uh, put in everything that my professors hand out, any kind of papers, uh, documents or anything. Um, so it has these like little uh, folders. And I always have a bit of scrap paper in here so I can write something down if I need to. I usually don't because I put everything in my computer. Um, yeah, it's good to have. So this one also goes where my MacBook is. Then there's this little compartment here uh, that I usually use for my um, wallet. Okay, so I can grab it easily whenever I need it. This big one here is rather flat, but it's big. So in here, I put everything that uh, I may need for like emergency <laughs> situations, like uh, this little pouch where I have like hygiene products, uh, tampons and stuff. I put this in here because you never know. I sometimes get surprised. I also always want to have a spare face mask in here just uh, for days when I forget my other one, <laughs> just to have one, uh, just to be sure. And then this one on top, 
is a fun one because here all the stationary stuff goes in. My favorite Muji pens. I have this one, it's just the 0.38, I'm not sure if you can see it, um, which is a fine liner in black, very nice. I have a highlighter also from Muji. I have a, what is it called, ruler, I think, just to draw lines if I need to. This one, very good for exams. <laughs> if I misspell anything, I can just uh, erase it and write over it. Very nice. Then I have two clips like this, um, like this in gold, which I use to uh, mark books or like, yeah, secure pages uh, when I'm like researching anything. I clip uh, the page that I'm reading so I don't have to hold it with my hand so I can type on my MacBook at the same time. That's uh, a pro tip <laughs> for study days at the library. Speaking of the library, I always need this um, because there are lockers and they don't have locks so you have to bring your own, which is a little heavy, um, but it's fine. Um, so I put this in here as well. And I also have a little bit of washi tape, sticky tape, whatever you call it, in this matte beige, very pretty. And then some more like beauty products. Um, this is a cleaner for my glasses. Uh, I might actually put that to the hygiene section here. And then of course some lip balm, some mints uh, for a fresh breath. <laughs> And very important in the winter, my favorite hand lotion uh, because in the winter, I don't know, I always get dry hands. Uh, yeah, and this one just smells divine. A last thing for this compartment is a hair clip. Always very handy if I forget it. I could just put my hair back while studying. It's very, yeah, self explanatory. But I think I will put this where the sunglasses are. Then one thing I did not bring the last semesters, but always uh, thought about bringing. I have been using this coffee cup. Uh, it's a recup. I don't know if you know the system. It's very popular in Germany. Uh, you get these cups. You basically rent them uh, at different coffee shops. You can get them, uh, but you can also keep it um, and just bring it to every coffee shop. If you get a coffee, you just give it to them. You oftentimes get get a discount if you bring your own mark which is nice and you can also exchange it or give it back or whatever so it's it's a renting system which is very nice and the university cafeteria also takes these so that's very good um yes and then i of course i'm bringing a normal face mask uh, i need this for taking the bus and the tram it's still mandatory to wear a mask in the public transport but also in class, it's not mandatory, but it's expected. So uh, I'm of course wearing masks at school or at university. Um, so I will put this in one of the outside compartments uh, so I can grab it easily whenever I need it. Uh, so I'll put it in here. And then in the same compartment, I usually put my AirPods because these ones are the first ones that I'm grabbing when I leave the house. Um, no matter if I take the bike or the bus or the tram, I always listen to something on these ones. So they go in here as well. And on the other side, I will put my phone so I can grab it anytime. And the final thing that I will probably not bring every day, um, but if I do want to study at the library or spend the day at university on campus, then I will bring my headphones. I love these because they have noise cancelling. I can concentrate so much better with these on, but uh, I usually study and do homework at home, so I don't use them every day, uh, but sometimes I do, and then I will bring them. And they have their own case, which is nice. Um, so I will just put them in there and then just throw in the case into my backpack whenever I need it. So this is it. I will close this up. And then you can see here is just one compartment left. It's the one outside, which I don't really know how to use because it's very tight. 
it's it's deep but it's really tight and i don't know what to put in here because everybody like if i have my backpack on my back everybody can just grab in here uh so i'm feeling like it's insecure no it's not secure enough um but yeah i don't know it's unused <laughs> wait i could put in a like an additional bag if I want to do some grocery shopping on my way home, that would be actually a good idea. I will do that right now. <laughs> Give me a sec. Just put in one of these Jutebeutel, you say in German. Uh, yeah, just one of the cotton bags and I will just fold it flat so I can put it in the compartment, which is a good idea, I think. Yes, it fits and that's that, my backpack is packed and ready to go. So one more thing I of course want to prepare is my outfit for the first day back. And I have just checked the weather forecast, um, but of course it's only next week, so how accurate can it be? Uh, but it says that it's gonna be raining and 15 degrees. Yay. <laughs> so I don't know what to wear, um, yeah. That's very difficult. Um, so I will probably choose something that has a lot of layers so I can take everything off if it gets too hot and I can put stuff on <laughs> if it gets uh, too cold. And I'm guessing that it's, be, that it's gonna be very cold at uni uh, because as you may know uh, in Europe or at least in Germany, but I think in the whole Europe, uh, everybody, everyone is trying to save uh gas and heater power and just power in general uh, so this winter is going to be very very cold um and also the university already said that they're not going to be uh heating up the campus uh and all the buildings uh to their usual level um so it's gonna be cold there so <laughs> just big jacket big hoodies it's already pretty cold at my apartment because uh, yeah, we're not putting on the heaters yet um, and we definitely wanna save money because the prices are very high right now um, because of the situation in Ukraine and so that's why we're gonna be cold. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna choose comfortable and I think I'm gonna choose something similar to this. Um, so I have these new Lululemon leggings in black that look like this and I also have boots. I'm gonna uh, decide that the night before, um, but I think I'm gonna um, vlog my first week of uni anyways, so you will see then and yeah, I will show you then. I think that's that for the outfit planning. Let's get to my third big point that I wanted to talk about in this video, which is mindset. <laughs> so we've done all the digital stuff, we've done, we've done all the fit, physical stuff, but we haven't talked about mindset and motivation. So I personally usually don't really struggle with motivation to study. Uh, just because I like going to university, I love being a student. Um, I like the lifestyle about it, I like learning new things and all that, um, but I do understand that most people do have problems with that and I do also of course procrastinate if I have to do something that I don't really want to do. Yeah, so of course uh, staying on track with uh, my readings and my homework is a big goal for the next semester. I usually do that quite all right like it, it works um but sometimes i do like i don't get behind but sometimes i slack a little bit and i'm like eh, you came here to learn something now do it and i get a little mad at myself so of course that's a goal every semester and i think for the feeling of staying on track and like going towards a goal it will definitely help me to have the Friday session of uh, yeah researching for my bachelor thesis and all that. That is absolutely a goal this semester to start with that and to like get ahead and try and build a good foundation, build a good argumentation for the thesis and yeah, just uh, don't sabotage myself and just 
be on track, do everything that I have to do and make it the best I can do. I'm not someone who compares a lot to other students or to my friends or something, um, but I do have very high standards for myself, which is sometimes not so good for my mental health, uh, but at least it's something that I can work on with myself and I don't have to like contrast and compare with others all the time. It's just that I'm yeah, comparing myself with myself basically, but I'm definitely working on that. <laughs> Yeah, regarding pressure and like pressure to perform well, I do of course want to have good grades, but grades for me aren't the main focus. Um, I just want to feel like I've done the best that I could do. Uh, and whatever grade that is in the end, doesn't really matter. But of course my goal is to keep up my grades and to yeah fulfill a certain like final grade. Um, that I have kind of set for myself, which is quite unnecessary. No one's gonna look at this grade ever again. Um, I can do a master's degree without anybody giving a damn about my final grade in this bachelor degree. Um, but yeah, uh, I still want to achieve that and I think that's all right. I just think that it's good to reflect on that, uh, on the importance of that specific goal uh, that I have set for myself. And my final goal, as I've already mentioned, is to read more. Uh, and I will try to implement that through my routines, because I know that I work best with routines. Um, and by always having a book with me. Um, so I hope that that will help. But I, I don't know, I will let you know if it works <laughs> um, over the next months. But we'll see. These are my general goals for the next semester. And I'm very interested to hear or see what your goals are for the next semester. If you just want to pass or if you have like specific growth goals that you want to meet for yourself, like what things you want to learn or uh, I don't know, anything, uh, just let me know in the comments. I find that very interesting. Uh, yeah, I think I'll stop rambling now. <laughs> That's enough for today. So now I think I'll go and have dinner and beer with uh, my roommates and friends. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this as well. Uh, let's see how the semester goes. Maybe you already started your next semester when you're seeing this video. So let me know in the comments uh, how you started and if everything went well. And also if you have any ideas or questions for me that I should answer in the next video, anything student, study or university related. And yeah, I think that's it for today. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a wonderful next week. Bye!